Hey guys, this is Luke from the Scoundrels Cantina, and welcome to another episode of A Star Wars Story. In this video, I'll be telling you the story of Darth Jadis, who is most notably seen in the Star Wars The Old Republic MMORPG game. As always, we're mixing the expanded universe and canon, because we believe that there is no reason why most of it can't fit together. Anyway, let us begin. Darth Jadis was a male Dark Lord of the Sith who was presumably born in the Imperial capital on Dromund Kars. Jadis rose to prominence among the Sith during the years of the Great Galactic War and the Cold War which immediately followed. He would also secure a position for himself on the Sith's Dark Council, which was basically the ruling body of the Sith Empire. During the Cold War, Jadis would gain control of the Imperial Intelligence Network and work behind the scenes. At some point, he sired a daughter who would eventually become his only known apprentice, and her name was Darth Jorid. He commanded his own heroic class Dreadnought, which was called the Dominator. In 3643 BBY, a terrorist organization would emerge within the Empire, which was called the Ego Terrorist Network, which launched an attack on Kaas City Generators, but would fail thanks to codename Cypher 9, an Imperial agent. The Ego Terrorists would also bomb Jadis' Dreadnought, the Dominator, which killed thousands of Imperials, as well as Jadis himself. Since Jadis died, the Dark Council elected his daughter Darth Jorid as his replacement on the Council. Out of lust for revenge, Jorid ordered all resources from Imperial Intelligence on fighting the leader of the Eagle Terrorists. The Eagle, as he was called, was the leader of the terrorists and was dissatisfied with the Empire and sought to change it. Thanks to the Imperial agent Cypher 9, the Eagle's entire network was eventually disassembled, after which the leader Eagle was tracked to Nelhara. There, Cypher 9 would mortally wound him, and before he died, he revealed that the terrorists were attempting to use experimental Imperial weapons known as the Eradicators to launch a devastating attack on Imperial holdings. He also revealed a few things about his mysterious patron. It was later discovered that Darth Jadis faked his own death and saved a part of the exploding Dominator where he was through his incredible strength in the Force, as well as that he was the real leader of the Eagle Terrorists. Darth Jadis would ultimately be bested by Cypher 9 with quite a bit of help. Now the next part of the story is more of a choice for the players, so I'm simply gonna go over both outcomes. After Cypher 9 defeats Jadis, the agent either joins him in his quest to reform the Sith Empire into not fighting against itself all the time, or to arrest him, after which he would be imprisoned and removed from the Dark Council. Either way, Darth Jadis learned of the Emperor's plans to wipe all life from the galaxy and left the reaches of the known galaxy in order to later return and enact his plans. If the first option is chosen, he would simply leave the galaxy and put Cypher 9 and some other agents in charge of Imperial Intelligence. The second option is him escaping from the Sith and disappearing just as he would in the first option. We simply prefer the first option because of reasons. This is basically all there is about his story, so I'm gonna go over some of his traits, powers, abilities and motivations. An honor that you have earned. Okay, you're going down right now. <laughs> Your follower believes she has been betrayed. She is contemptible and beneath me. Darth Jadis was known for showing more restraint than his fellow Sith Lords and rarely succumbed to emotions and passions that powered the dark side of the Force. He showed very little interest in the squabbles and fighting of his fellow Sith and instead focused his influence on Imperial Intelligence. Jadis was also against anti-alien policies and allowed aliens into his ranks, as well as outsiders, because of his lack of trust for the Sith. As a Dark Council member, Darth Jadis was immensely powerful with the Dark Side of the Force and on a power level second only to the Sith Emperor himself. For those unfortunate enough to find themselves in his presence, experienced a physical sensation of pain and suffering due to the Dark Side radiating from him. He most notably used Force Stealth, Force Choke and Force Lightning, only releasing his red-bladed Sith lightsaber if really needed. Darth Jadis' power was even acknowledged by Valkorion when talking to Cypher 9. Darth. Jadis, the best Sith my empire ever produced. We personally think that the way Jadis looks, the way he sounds, his personality, motivations, and pure dark side power really make him seem as one of the most badass Sith in all of Star Wars. We really wish that there was more to his story. Anyway guys, this is it on the story of Darth Jadis, and we hope you all enjoyed it and learned something new about the vast galaxy of Star Wars. If you want to watch more videos like this one, the link to the playlist of our other Star Wars stories and videos will be in the description down below. Also, if you want to support this channel, hit that subscribe button for more videos like this this one and remember guys god is awesome may the force be with you always and we'll see you in another video you rebel scum 
this party's over. 